Hi, I just had an, a mandatory meeting for eighth grade, and in that meeting I had three students. That means those three students will get the participation point for coming to the meeting, and everyone else in the class will lose that point because they did not come. This quarter we will have several mandatory meetings, and what that means is if you do not come to the meeting, you lose at least one, sometimes two points for that meeting. There will be an alternative assignment for the rest of the mandatory meetings that we have, um, and I'll get into that as I go into more of this video. Um, this video is about how grammar will work this quarter. The reason I'm changing how grammar will work, well, there are two reasons. One reason is because the assignments are quite long and I don't really feel like you necessarily need to have that long of a written assignment. Another reason, and probably the main reason that is causing me to want to make this change now, is because in a couple of the groups, we have had people cheating. And by that, I mean someone found an answer key online and then has been sharing that link and um, everybody in the class, or not everybody, but I would say probably most people in those two classes um, are going to that link and just copying the answers to the questions. And this is not a way to learn copying answers without even thinking about it. And I know you're copying it without even thinking about it because one of the answers to a question in, in one of the grades said, see sample answers below. In other words, it didn't really give an answer to the question it said that, and then down in a footnote, it had several different kinds of answers for that question. Um, but you just copied C sample answers below. Okay, so I don't want you to have to do mega amounts of pages, and I don't want you to cheat. So therefore, we're having this meeting, and I'm doing this video. Um, I was not able to record my Google Meet with 8th grade because my computer decided that now is a very good time to do an update. So, uh, it is now 30% complete on the update, so uh, it's going to take a while. There are three things I want to cover, or actually three steps of what we'll do for each grammar unit. The first step is going to remain the same as before, and it is that I will post a video where I will talk about the topic and have stuff on the board and I'll give you page numbers in your book to look at. Um, and so for that first day you just have to um, you just have to watch the video and look at those page numbers. The second day of the unit you will have a, a mandatory meet which by mandatory, I mean that you will lose points if you don't come. Um, so, in that meet, we will be going over the pages in the book that I gave you the day before. So let's say if I gave you pages 25 to 30, then in the meet, we'll go through those pages, and I will ask each person to answer one or more questions, and you will get uh, a participation point for participating when you're asked. Um, you might not get the entire point if you go, what, what are we doing? What, what, what what's the topic? <laughs> um, so please try to be with it, okay? Um, let's see, I'm looking at my page here. So I will say, hey, Carlos, do number three, and he'll read number three, and he will give, hopefully, the correct answer to number three. And he'll get his participation point. If you are unable to come to a meeting, then you must do a, an alternative assignment to make up for those points, or otherwise you can just not get the points. Um, your alternative assignment for these grammar units will be to go to those pages and look for the information in the boxes. Um, so like if I assigned you pages 25 to 30, there may be boxes on pages 25, 27, and 29 that have um, information about 
that section. Let's say we're doing verb tenses and page 25 has um, simple tenses, page 27 has progressive tenses, and page 29 has perfect tenses, and they have definitions and examples inside the box. Your, your alternative assignment for not coming to the meeting would be to copy everything in that box and post that on the meeting assignment. Okay, so step one, video and look at the page numbers. Step two, Google Meet. Um, and if you can't come to the meet, then you have to do the alternative assignment. If you do come to the meet, then you get one point. If you participate, you get another point. Um, that should be clear, hopefully. If you have questions, ask them in the comments below the video here. Um, if you cannot come to a meeting, like I already said that, uh, then step three will be an assignment. And your assignment will not be workbook pages. Your assignment will be to write sentences. In most cases, there might be something else on some of these other sections. Um, but mostly you'll be writing sentences. It'll probably be somewhere between five and ten sentences um, to write for your assignment, and that'll be it. As usual, you should consult your, uh, your book, the video I gave you, um, and any other resource, including if you need to message me to know what to do or if you don't understand how to do this particular tense, then, yeah, you should... You said you should message me or comment on the assignment. Um, so these assignments will be, like I said, shorter, but they will, um, you will have to really know what you're thinking about or doing. Each person will have a letter of the alphabet, and I will tell you probably to use uh, your subject beginning with that letter. So, for example, write a sentence uh, using present perfect. So that's your assignment, and your letter is A. So, um, so the subject has to start with A. Uh, the apple has been sitting on the counter for three months. So, yuck. <laughs> it would be a bad apple at that point. But anyway, apple is the subject, has been sitting. Hmm, that's not exactly perfect tense, so I'd probably take off a point for that one because... Um, it's perfect. It's uh, perfect progressive tense, and uh, some of you do actually do have verb tenses for your assignment this time, so you know. And I've already explained that you need to know the difference between perfect tense, progressive tense, and perfect progressive tense. Okay, so I'll. It will be a point if you follow directions. A point if you use the uh, the thing correctly that we're doing. For that section so and a point for writing a grammatically correct sentence so in that one I used a for Apple okay that works I wrote a grammatically correct sentence that's two points but I didn't get the third point because I used perfect progressive and not just plain present perfect tense I hope that makes sense to you anyway that's how grammar will work if you have questions comments below have a nice day